All right, so continuing on here, um, the replacement heat sink just made it in uh, from Amazon. It has the Dell part number on it, which is kind of cool. So it could be a Dell part. I'm not sure. It looks pretty similar to the original Dell one, as we can see here. Let's get that straightened out. Uh, the one nice part is that it does come with um, the thermal paste already um, affixed to it. So we're just going to smear some more on the uh, original one for the new chip. And uh, this one is going to be all set. The other thing I noticed was the CPU holder. Let's get this over here. So this being the original Dell CPU holder. Let's put some uh, this on here. Just change the zoom, hang on. So this being the original one, this being the, let's call it Amazon one. Pretty close, pretty similar. On the Dell one, I noticed it has revision number three up there. You guys can see that CAV number three. But the one they sent me has revision one, CVA one. So we're gonna try it, we're gonna see if it works. Uh, all these pins here all look the same. Doesn't have that sticker. Now, if I flip it over, of course, there's something broken on the new one. So, on the original one, this has the pin, and this one does not. It's broke, it's missing. So, we'll try it. Let's see. Let's see how it works. And uh, hopefully, it works. Uh, just another quick note here, these CPUs, they don't go in the same way. So the one on the left goes in with the wording so you can read it on the right side there, just like that. And notice from the notch, this, this notch in the CPU. notch right here that notch is what's gonna fit right in there and if you wiggle it you'll see it sits in there nicely now if you did the same with this one let me turn off this flash you'll see it's the opposite the wording reads this way as opposed to that one reading that way mainly because of the notch this notch is now down here so if you try to put this CPU in the wrong way, it will not fit because that notch is up here, not down there. So I would just recommend making sure you put this CPU in first, like this. Make sure it's locked in. You can shake it. Give it a little wiggle, make sure it's in good. And let's go to the next step. We'll get some paste put on the other heat sink and fire this thing up. Well, first we're gonna have to move some RAM around. Put some RAM in this this side, that side, and uh, see what works best. All right. So for the heat temp, we've got some uh, MK6 from uh, Amazon. This is the four gram tube. I didn't get the small one because I didn't know how small it was gonna be. And here it is. This is the four ounce. You see that? Yeah, not doing too good with uh, focusing. So I'm gonna smear some of this on here. Obviously it's not gonna be as pretty as the pre-printed one, but we'll do our best. Give this a little. Do a couple laps in the center we don't want to go too far on the edges as you can see I'm putting a lot on just because I didn't want to have any issues and then we can give it a little smear in a minute let me just pause this hang on so one note I'll say about this MX6 it is pretty thick it doesn't smear so well as you can see um, so I would probably recommend the smaller one. I think it was MX4 or MX2. 
and it was a little bit uh, looser just because uh, it wouldn't really smear so I'm just gonna leave it as is we're gonna smash it down and uh, you know any any thermal transfer is good I'm sure I put a lot more than I should have on here but again I didn't really want to have any other problems all right let's get this hooked up and see how it runs all right so putting the CPU mounting it to this plastic tray um, since we know which direction it has to go in and we know that when we took off of this heat shield the wording was a certain way so the wording we could read and it had that little tab out there on this one same thing the wording is this way and the tab is out there this tab right here so mounting the CPU you have to remember these notches right here so there's two notches that bottom one this one right here is what is going to sit right on there that notch so that notch is going to come in like this hard to do with one hand and it snaps underneath come in on an angle right and it snaps in so this guy would snap in holds it down and then when you bend this back that will also let's see if I get the flashlight on here hang on that will also snap in and hold it down so this part would go down I'm gonna I'm gonna do it I just don't want to do it with one hand then break it so now you can see this. So now you can see that this tab is now down and holding the CPU. It's also down here. Holding the CPU there. So before I mount this on here, before I do that, right? It sits like that because obviously there's two round ones up in the corner. That's round. That's round. This is the push in for the squares. So it definitely goes like this. It doesn't go the opposite way. The issue first is you have to make sure that you're putting it in the right direction when it goes down onto the CPU slot. So we can see we can push it down there. I'm gonna push it down here, right? So this is all pushed down. Okay, everybody's down, down, down. That one's not. Oh, there you go. Pushed it down. So now everything is down. Uh, we're going to get that mounted down into that slot. And we'll see how it looks. Before I um, get that installed, I just want to show you again. So we can see the wording on the front. And we can read it, right? It's not upside down. We can see the wording. We have the CPU mounted to the plastic black mount, which is then mounted to the heat sink. Okay. Now you'll see that notch. I'm gonna get him real close. See that notch up top there? That notch is on the upper right hand corner, right? When that goes down, right? So now you know that that's correct because now if I come in here, you see that little gold tab? That is also in the upper right hand corner. So this will correctly go in. those four up there's a pin here there's a blue push there push and release there's another pin here and there's another blue there so line it up give it a little rock give it a little push not too aggressive there you go that one's down this one's down the pins are in now we can screw this one in and we can screw that one in. Before we do that, we're going to do the next CPU. Remember, this one's opposite. This one has the gold tab down here. So for the second CPU, I have it sitting here the way it would sit in the motherboard with the notches down lower. Right? So here's this lower notch, here's this other lower notch. 
And if you have this piece and you can't figure out how to do it, does it go this way? Does it go that way? Does it go this way? Uh, the best thing to do is to do it as it sits here. So if you were to place this here, okay, you would see that the notch right there says push. See? And that lines up with the CPU. And it also lines up with this one. Not sure if you can see that too good. There's a little there's a little notch here. That part fits right in there. Same thing here. There's a middle notch right there, and that guy right there fits in there. But you have to assemble it upside down. So now knowing how this would go, I'd say flip this over, flip this over, and you can start assembling it there and getting it put together. <clears throat> All right, so that's installed. Uh, the way I did it was, and I looked on the other side, see that says latch and that says push. It's latch on that side, that's push on this side. I took it and I angled it and I went in and I got this side first. And then when it came to this side, I was able to flex this just a little bit, flex it down a little bit, and then that sat in. And we can see here that this is holding down the CPU. And this one over here is also holding down the CPU. So this is ready. So we come over here and we can mount this on here. Now remember, you don't want to install this the wrong way. You want to make sure that that second slot, see how that gold tab is down at the bottom left. So we want to make sure this is, we have our tab, I can't really see it, I'll have to flip it over. There's your tab there. See, it's not up top, that's right there. So that means this CPU has to go in like this. In order to do that, we'd have to flip this over and flip it the other way so that you wouldn't be able to read the wording. We'll get that set up in a second. Okay, so that one's installed. This wording I can read, this wording is upside down. Remember, don't push too hard to get these blue tabs in. You can give it a little rock, side to side, make sure that it's in good. You wanna make sure your round pins are good, they're in, and that blue tab is in. Now you can start screwing them down. We'll get some memory in, and we'll turn it on. 